Hey, uh, got a little. I don't know if this is breaking news, but we can we can talk about it right quick. I hit on this before we talk about the NFL stuff. Bruce Feldman is reporting that Jim Harbaugh would be tempted to an NFL return with the Vegas Raiders if uh, if they were to offer him the job. Does that sound interesting to you? I'm sure he would be tempted with an NFL return. That's probably well, we not. It's kind of great interesting. job. It's a great city. It's a great team, and and there we go. And he uh, and he He's did a, really a great job. Coach. Yeah, he did a great job this season. He had to take a pay cut last year, maybe just to keep his Michigan job. Like that's that's very interesting. He's not he's not going to be leaving for the money though. Like he didn't care. Like and he's he's kind of made that clear. Like this dude really does embody the idea of a football man. Like he he really just doesn't give a shit. He just wants to be around football. Okay. Yeah. But, but if you're good enough to coach the NFL, you should be coaching the NFL. And you know why? Because you don't have all these bullshit rules and regulations from this. You know. A governing body that has has no real, you know, strength to it whatsoever. But they get to tell everybody what to do. Like, I, like I, th- nobody wants to work under those circumstances. Also, the idea of kissing the, you know, the ass of an eighteen year old and then having to do it again when he's nineteen and then having to do it again when he's twenty. Like, like that's got to drive some of these old school football guys nuts. Like, we had a conversation in our group chat the second we saw uh, Caleb Williams hit the transfer portal. And somebody brought up the fact that, like, how how frustrating is this for a guy like Brett Venables? Because we just understand that he's got to hate this, right? Like the idea that this, <laughs> like, this kid plays on this team, and and now he wants to leave, and I got to re-recruit him, I got to resell him every year. Like, like, how much bullshit is this for these guys? Somebody wants to do that job. They're doing it because they can't do the next level job. Yeah. Yeah, I don't but think Jim you're wrong. can do the next level job. He yeah, absolutely can do the next level job. Yeah, trying to trying to keep kids happy uh, when they are going through so many emotions between the ages of 18 and 22 is, I mean, that's almost impossible. Because not everybody's going to be happy all the time. So you got to re-recruit guys over and over and over. And there's, I mean, you're already working on recruiting for the next class 24-7, 365, man. It's, it's pretty insane. So I, I could totally see it. I could see Harbaugh leaving for the Raiders. This was uh, certainly a a get right kind of season, best season that Michigan's had in I mean decades, decades. So it would not I, surprise I'm telling me. You, I'm telling you that if if any of the 31 teams in the league, not named Jacksonville, right now, call me tomorrow, and you're an, and you're a major college football coach, you're listening, and I don't care what your location is, I don't care where you are, who you are, you're interested because the game has changed so much in college football to where. Why would you do this when you can go do that? You're not wrong. You are not wrong. All right. Here's the thing. Let's say you're a huge yep. embarrassing failure at that. Then you get to come back to the same job you were at. You used to have. <laughs> yeah, nobody. Different school, different location. You just get a big ass paycheck and you get to come back. Yeah. Nobody looks at uh, an NFL record and says, hey, you wouldn't be good in college. Like, there's so many more options. So I, I, think, uh, I think that would make perfect sense.